homework time, homework time, here we go. All right, we're on the lesson 17. Let's start as always. Are you writing your name at the top? That's not my name. All right, there we go, that's better. All right, and you write your name. We'll both write our respective names at the top. And might as well, while we're up here, let's jot down the date. All right, today. You write the actual date, where and when you are. And let's look at our instructions. Draw a tape diagram to represent each problem. Use numbers to solve. And write your answer as a statement. And it's always good to take count. We have to do three things. Tape diagram, solve, statement. All right, so let's dive right in with number one here. Gavin has 1,094 toy building blocks. Avery only has, poor fella, 816 toy building blocks. How many more building blocks does Gavin have? Well, this is a pretty straightforward comparison, isn't it? So if we were to draw for Gavin, we'd say, okay, well, we'll just write G for Gavin and draw ourselves this little tape diagram here. There's Gavin, and we know he has 1,094. I could write above with a bracket, or just write inside like that. And then we have Avery. And we're comparing, we're trying to see how many more. That's why I'm drawing two separate tapes for them. Um, because, you see, especially as we move on here, this type of diagram just works better when you're comparing here. All right, and he has 816. Now, what are we trying to find here? How many more does Gavin have? So what we're trying to find here is the space between. So I can draw a little bracket there. And if I want, I can put a little dotted line coming down. Okay, the space between here, uh, we'll put B for blocks. How many more does Gavin have? And this type of uh, uh, tape diagram makes it easy to see that what we're doing is subtraction. We're trying to find literally the difference between these two tapes here. Okay, so let's go ahead and play that funky subtraction. All right, 1,094. We are subtracting 816 to find how many more Gavin has. Now, we need to do a little decomposition action right off because we cannot subtract 6 from a mere 4. Oh, no. Go to the tens place. We'll leave 8 tens there and bring 1 10 over to the ones as 10 ones with the 4 already there. 14 ones minus 6 ones. That's right. Leaves 8. And then 8 minus 1, 7, good. And now there's two ways to look at this next one. We could do the regrouping, but because we're at the end of the line, we're at the highest place value here, we can just simply say this is 10 minus 8. But let me show you what I'm talking about. Look, if I do the regrouping, I get the same thing. I leave 0 thousands and then regroup it over as 10 hundreds, and we're doing... Yeah, 10 minus 8, just like I said, 10 minus 8, it's still 2. Okay, so now we drew our tape diagram, number one. We solved it with numbers, and now we will write our answer as a statement. So B here is 278. Uh, so Gavin, lucky, fortunate, well-endowed fellow that he is, has... 278 more blocks than poor unfortunate soul that he is, Avery. Why these two boys are spending all their time counting their blocks instead of just playing with them, I'm not sure. But in any case, lucky Gavin there, 278 more. All right, so that's number one. Rolling, let's keep rolling.
All right, and number two, I love number two here. This is great. A little unimaginative with containers A and B, but it helps to keep things straight. Let's read it. Container B holds 2,391 liters of water. Together, container A and container B hold 11,875 liters of water. And now we're going to make a comparison with our question. How many more liters of water does container A hold than container B? So you see there's a lot going on here. Now the thing that is obvious and simple, let's start with this tape diagram here, is we know B. B is just a given, right? Okay, so let's draw a nice simple tape for B. And we know this is 2,391 liters. Okay, that's good, huh? Now we know that A is larger because we're asked how many more liters it has. In fact, we can kind of guess that it's substantially larger. In fact, we can make a quick estimate and say, rounding to the nearest thousand, together they're 12,000. Container B is 2,000. So we're looking at upwards of 10,000 for how much container A holds, 10,000 liters. Um, so when I draw them, I am going to make A, maybe not perfectly proportionately larger, but I will make it substantially longer because I do want to make it clear in my tape diagram that, yes, A is bigger. What a beautiful tape that is, eh? Okay, A. Um, so A, now here's the thing. I don't, how can I figure out how much more A holds if I don't know how much A holds? I have to figure that out first. I do know, let me draw a bracket for A and B. This I do know, that together, they hold 11,875 liters. Okay, I know that. But what I'm trying to find is not just how much does A hold. I will need that, but I will need to know, to answer the question, I need to know the difference between them here. Ah, let's call that W for water. Okay, so that, this W here, the difference between them is what I really need to find, but it's a multi-step problem. I have to solve for A first. Um, and this would be a very common mistake would be to do just one step and say, well, there's my answer. You really have to think these out, and that's what the tape diagram does. That's why uh, you draw those, so you know what you're doing. So if I take the uh, capacity, the volume of the two of them together, A and B, and I subtract just what B holds, that will give me the capacity of container A on its own some lonesome. So let's do that. 5 minus 1 leaves. 4. Can't take 9 from 7, so I will regroup, go to the hundreds, leave 7 as they are. Take one of those hundreds over as 10 tens, with the 7 tens already present, is 17 tens minus 9 tens. Leaves. Yes, 8 tens. Seven hundreds minus three hundreds. That's right, four. Um, now here I can uh, save a little time since I'm at the end of the line. Just do 11 minus 2 is 9. And I'll show you why that works when you're at the end of the line. In other words, at the highest place value. If I were to do the decomposition, say, okay, this 10,000, I'll bring over as 10,000 with the 1,000 that's right there. I'm still doing 11 minus 2. And you'll, you'll see more of this as well. So now that is not my final answer. That just tells me the capacity of A. A holds this many liters of water. Okay, so now to find the difference between them, what I've designated W here, I need to take the capacity for A and subtract the capacity of B, and that will give me the difference between them. So taking the 9,484 we just solved for and subtracting B's capacity of 2,391, that will give me the difference in our capacity, how many more liters container A holds. So 4 minus 1 leaves 3. Um, can't take 9 from 8 without decomposing, so I will take one of these hundreds, leave 3 where they are, bring it over as 10 tens with the 8 tens already present, 
18 tenths minus 9 tenths. We know our double, that's 9. 3 minus 3 is 0, and 9 minus 2 is, yep, 7. Okay, so now this is W. W here, and I have just enough room to squeeze it in there, W equals 7,093. And the abbreviation for liters, by the way, is a capital L, so I'll write that in on this case. Um, now I just simply need a statement, container A. Holds 7,093 more liters, and notice I do not capitalize it when I'm writing a word, only for the abbreviation liters, uh, otherwise it looks like a one or something, uh, than B. Great, there's two. Let's rock on with number three, shall we? Yes, indeed. Well, number three is a bit of a mind bender. Let's read it. A piece of yellow yarn was 230 inches long. After 90 inches had been cut from it, the piece of yellow yarn was twice as long as a piece of blue yarn. At first, meaning before it was cut, how much longer was the yellow yarn than the blue yarn? Well, like I said, a bit of a brain bender there, but when, when you draw it out, and this is what tape diagrams are all about, when you draw it out, you see what's going on. So let's draw the piece of yellow yarn. And I'm just going to draw a line rather than a tape. Go ahead and sue me. Fine. Because it's yarn, man. Okay, so the whole thing here is 230, right? Inches. And then we know how much is cut from it. That's right, 90 inches. So, there's my cut. And this piece that's cut off is 90 inches, right? Now, the blue yarn, after that's cut, the blue yarn is half this length from here. I'm going to put a little dot there. The blue yarn is half of this length, right? After it's been cut, the yarn, the yellow yarn is twice as long as the blue yarn. So the blue yarn goes from here to about the midpoint of the yellow yarn. I'm going to say yay bouts, okay? So, but that's not the question. The question we're trying to solve for is, at first, before the yellow yarn was cut, how much longer was it than the blue yarn? I love this kind of thing. I love solving puzzles like this. It's fun. You feel like a magician when you're done. So this is what we're trying to solve for here. I'm going to make this, these ends nice and dark. This is what we want to find, okay? And what are we going to call this? I don't know. Let's just call it N, some kind of number. All right, so in order to solve this, we need to find this right here, the length of the blue yarn. We need to find that. Um, in order to find the difference between the 230 inches and whatever the blue is. We don't know how long the blue is. So if we take the yellow yarn starting at 230 inches and then subtract the 90 that's cut off it, what do we get? Well, 0 minus 0 is 0. And again here, as I showed you on the last one, you can just do 23 minus 9. Or if you want to regroup, I'll show you, okay, leave that 100. Bring it over as 10 tens with the 3 already there. 13 minus 9 is 4. 1 minus nothing is 1. So this length here from dot to dot is 140 inches. So the blue is half of that. Now, so you're actually doing division here to figure it out, right? Because this yellow, this 140 is double the blue yarn. Um, so I'm going to write it out as a division question, because that's essentially what we're doing, although, of course, we have not covered division yet, but hey, let's go for it. Um, there are, looking at 14, there are seven twos in 14, 
which we subtract and get zero. And then we still have zero there. How many twos are in zero? Well, there are zero. And if we want to go all the way, we'll subtract zero and get zero. Or most likely you are adept enough that you can just eyeball 140 and know that 70 is half of it. You can also do trial and error. So the blue yarn is 70 inches. That I'm going to label. In fact, I'll label the yellow yarn from dot to dot is 140 here. But remember, our question is, at first, before it was cut, how much longer is the yellow yarn than the blue yarn? Well, at first, the yellow yarn was 230 inches, right, before it was cut. And the blue yarn, now we've discovered, is 70. So what's the difference between them? That's this N here we're trying to solve for with this bracket. Um, so again, we just subtract to find the difference between them. 0 minus 0 is 0. And we could just do 23 minus 7 again, but we'll do it the long way to make you happy. Um, we'll take, leave one of those hundreds, take one over as 10 tens with the 3 tens already present. 13 tens minus 7 tens is 6 tens. 1 minus nothing is still 1. So N, the difference between them is 160 right here inches. In fact, I'm going to circle that so we remember like this is our final answer. So we can write our statement now. The yellow yarn. My pretty yellow yarn. I told you that one was a bit of a brain bender there. Look at that tape diagram. It's like the schematic of a complicated machine. The yellow yarn was 160 inches. I'll write out the word inches. You see the abbreviation is IN. Longer than the blue. And there we go. Homework time is over. Have a great time. We'll see you next time on Homework Time.